Before we start this tutorial, I just want to explain this is the third of several tutorials explaining how to activate the Navajo keyboard within the Chrome browser. Uh, for this specific tutorial, we are going to install an extension within your Chrome browser so you can type the Navajo characters in um, any application that is open inside of your Chrome browser like Twitter and Facebook. In this tutorial we are going to activate the Navajo keyboard um, across all applications within the Chrome browser like Twitter. We'll be able to type using the Navajo characters. We'll talk more about using the Navajo keyboard within the Google Drive and Google Docs. You'll be able to type the Navajo characters within Facebook and within Gmail. First we're going to open a new tab and we're going to search the Chrome Web Store. We want to install an extension here on this menu bar or toolbar. By doing that, the way we need to do that is I'm going to select my link Web Store and it'll take me to my Chrome Web Store here. Or you can open a new tab and search the keywords Chrome Web Store and it'll take you to the same page. When you're there, you're going to type in the keywords uh, Google Input Tools. And the category of extensions should appear on your page. Go ahead and select Add to Chrome. And when you do that, um, select Add. There's a notification window that pops up. If you keep an eye on the toolbar on this Chrome browser, a new icon appears. And the way to use this is by selecting the icon and selecting your extension options. When you do that you want to sign in by selecting the red box and a notification will appear and you want to accept. And when you do this you're going to now add the Navajo keyboard. There's two keyboards in here. There's modern and traditional. You want to select traditional. Modern is just the regular English keyboard. And when you select traditional, select the toggle arrow button so it appears in the box to the right. So it saves, saves automatically. Now we're going to go to the Twitter application. I'm going to make a new tweet here and I want to activate the Navajo keyboard. I want to select the extension on the toolbar and this keyboard appears. Now my physical keyboard is active. I'm able to type the Navajo characters. When I close the keyboard, the English keyboard appears again and I can select the icon and the Navajo keyboard appears and my physical keyboard is able to type the Navajo characters again. Now, within Google Services, the Google Docs and Google Drive, you'll need to activate um, the embedded um, tool, which is explained in Tutorial 1 of this series. I'm showing you Gmail right now, and I'm going to activate the traditional keyboard, and I'm able to type the Navajo characters within my email interface. Now I want to go to Facebook and I'm able to type also within this application by selecting the Navajo keyboard and I'm going to attempt to type in the comment box like so and I can even create a new comment as you can see the Navajo keyboard is still active my physical keyboard is able to type the Navajo characters. I close it. The English keyboard comes back. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video.